In this edition of the Globe Sports Corner, we'll take an inside look at baseball and their often forgotten fall season. And on our Globe Sports crew hangs out with the Goshen College Silks Club and takes a look at how these performers are defying gravity. All that and more is coming up right here on the Globe Sports Corner. From the Globe Studios in Goshen, my name is Dante Stanton. Welcome to our second Globe Sports Corner of the year. And as we turn the calendar into November, look into the ever-expanding world of Goshen College athletics with winter sports seasons right around the corner. While GC baseball doesn't officially start until the spring, the team has been active in preparation nonetheless with an unofficial fall season. Gabe Kermode has the story. As the fall sports season is underway, many people overlook the preparation that is done by the spring sports during that time. It is crucial for baseball to have a fall season to prepare themselves for the spring. Uh, the fall is a big developmental portion of what we do from a baseball standpoint. You know, we play so early in the spring and in February that it gets really, really hard uh, to do that pre-practice stuff um, outside and in space. So the fall is a big point, part of uh, developing, figuring out the depth chart and all that stuff. Um, and it's really our best weather in general. Not only does it allow them to play in some of the best weather, but it helps them get ready for regular season play. You know, our goal is to try to get the young guys like a year ahead, right? Like try to basically figure out where it kinks out, get those learning curve figured out in the fall so we can hit the ground running in the spring. Things have been looking different this fall season compared to last because COVID restrictions have loosened. Uh, I think one of the things that we learned from last year and our lack of ability to gather with the pandemic um, and kind of what we were learning about it was the fact that we missed some vital components to what we do in terms of development like the weight room lifting collectively the amount of time and space that we can be in a classroom learning were all things that we kind of missed we didn't get any outside scrimmages last year that we could work towards because of covid and the pandemic and limited interaction that's loosened a little bit um, and we put those safety measures in place that have allowed us to do those things which has been huge in terms of our development. One of the ways that people prepare is by playing outside opponents something they couldn't do last year. The outside scrimmages just give you something to look forward to you know it's one thing when you're you're, you're inner squatting against or you're, you're competing against your own team all the time when you have a chance to put your best against somebody else's best and play somebody in different uh, uniform and a different jersey uh, it just shows you a lot about your team, right? You can you can really break down even more so where you're at and what holes and gaps you need to cover when you get a chance to compete against somebody outside of just your team. While the fall season is quite short, only lasting from September through October, it's essential for spring play. I'm Gabe Kermode, reporting for Globe Sports. I'm excited to see how the fall season will boost the Maple Leafs once the season officially gets underway in the spring. Coming up next, we'll speak with one of Goshen College's top athletes in Grayson Cockerham, a senior women's basketball player who will speak on the upcoming season and how it's shaping up on the Globe Sports Corner. the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Dante Stanton. Today we're fortunate enough to have preseason Crossroads League second team standout, Grayson Cockerham. Grayson, it's great to have you with us in the studios. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great today. So starting off with a big question, how does it feel to be named to a preseason conference team two seasons in a row? Um, it's a really special feeling, especially because the competition of this league is incredible. So to be a name on that list is awesome. So last season you crossed 1,000 career points, which is fantastic. You're just the 17th player in Goshen College women's basketball history to reach that mark. Mm -hmm. After how well last season went, what's the next goal for you as you head into your senior season? Um, most of my goals are focused on the team, uh, but it has been a goal of mine to be an All-American. So this year, definitely something I would like to accomplish before I graduate. Last season as a team, you finished with seven wins and made the, cro the, the Crossroads League tournament. Uh, what can we expect from the Leafs this season? Um, this year, we are hoping to finish 
around fifth in the league and be able to host a conference tournament. We really think that's something that we're capable of, and so we're excited to get the season started and see what we can do. Uh, you've got a, a brand new crop of freshmen coming in this season as well. A uh, lot of great impact players. Do you expect to see them making an impact really early on? Definitely. Uh, one of our biggest thing has, ha, things has been that the freshmen are pushing our upperclassmen, and I think that they're they're young, they're young, and they're energetic. Mixed with our seniors that have experience, I think that we're going to mesh well, and it'll be exciting. Well, the season kicks off tonight, which is very exciting. It's against Andrews University here at home. What's the mindset coming into the uh, the home opener? I think our biggest thing is just making sure that everything we've been practicing on translates to the game. So our biggest goal is defend, rebound, and run, and we want to see that um, in action tonight. So we're excited and we're ready. What's the mindset heading into the season? I mean, you guys pumped, you psyched. Are you? Uh, is there a new, fresh mindset, or is it just the, the same old thing? I think it's a new mindset. Like I said, the young players mix with the veteran players. Um, we're hungry, and we just want to be confident. And one of the things we've been talking about is we want to believe it to see it rather than see it to believe it. So we're just working on confidence, and we're excited. Thank you so much for coming on to the show today. Good luck tonight. Thank you. We'll be back with more right here on the Globe Sports Corner. I came to Goshen thinking that I'd just be acting, but over the course of my four years, I've taken part in all the other facets of the theater, and I think that's helped me gain a wider appreciation for theater as a whole. I mean, it takes all those things that I'm interested in, like design aspects of theater, the environmental studies course I took, and it takes my music major, and it just focuses it all into theater. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. Our Globe Sports crew earlier on literally hung out and upside down with the Goshen College Silks Club. Amelia Turnbull has the gravity-defying story. Feel like hanging around? Well, you're in luck because the Silks Club is looking for new members to join their circus theatrics. Aerial silks is a type of performance in which one or more artists perform aerial acrobatics while hanging from a fabric. Goshen College recently instituted a silks club in 2017 when senior Elena Meyer Raymer wanted to be able to show her acrobatic skills. Meyer Raymer enjoys doing silks and has been doing it for seven years. She says that it's an open environment for people to learn. I always get asked the question like, oh, do I have to have background? Do I have to have experience? Or like, oh, what are the requirements? And I would say there are no requirements, no experience necessary. Hasha Mamari, co-leader of Silks Club did not start doing acrobatics until he got to Goshen College. Amari enjoys the unique qualities the club entails. It's a different thing. Like, you don't just walk around a, a, a gym and find, like, oh, this person just does silks or dances in a fabric. It's something that's very rare. Antoinette Mauanayo, a Chicago circus performer of 11 years and member of Silks Club, says that silks requires a great deal of strength. It requires upper body strength, arm strength. It really... So you're pulling yourself up, literally yourself up. Maya Raymer discusses why some people may not feel comfortable joining the club right away. I think a lot of people are intimidated by silks. Like it has to be like, oh my gosh, you have to like be an athlete or something. And like I definitely was not before I started silks and it's just kind of like a fun thing to do. Although silks may seem difficult, Amari states that the club is a great place to broaden horizons and try something new. Well, it seems like um, it's like, oh, this really hard thing to do. But it's, we do it for fun. We just want people to come in. Like, we get to know those random students who just walked in. People come from different backgrounds wanting to do silks. Mauanayo has some ideas for what Silks Club can do in the future to get more members and attention. Some people don't know what silks are, you know? So I was hoping that, like, maybe, just maybe, the Silks Club can create a little show to perform to the people to be like, this is what Silks Club is, you know, for anyone who's comfortable with performing. Show a little something. The Silks Club meets every Wednesday night from 8 to 9, and they're planning on performing soon. For Globe Sports, I'm Amelia Turnbull. A big thank you to Amelia Turnbull for going all out to get the story. She's braver than I am. I'd get far too dizzy hanging upside down like that. <laughs> Coming up next on the Globe Sports Corner, we'll give you a look at what sports events you can catch this weekend for Goshen College Athletics on the Globe Sports Corner.
I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Back on the Globe Sports Corner, I'm Dante Stan, and it's time now to take a look at the Maple Leaf schedule for the coming week. Tonight is a busy night for the Leafs as basketball season kicks off with the women's squad taking on Andrews University at home at 6 o'clock. Men's soccer will also be in action at home as they continue conference play against the Spring Arbor University Cougars at 7 o'clock. Women's soccer looks to grab their second Crossroads League win of the season and secure a spot in the conference tournament in an away matchup with Spring Arbor also at 7 o'clock. And our last Wednesday matchup is the second half of our doubleheader opener for basketball at 8 o'clock on the men's side against Andrews University. Men's basketball is back in action next on Friday, the 29th, against Aquinas University at home at 6 o'clock. Saturday, women's soccer plays their final regular season game against Huntington University. Men's basketball is back at it once again at 1 o'clock on the home court against Graceland University from Iowa on Saturday. And women's volleyball closes out conference play at Huntington University at 1 o'clock. Busy week is capped off with men's soccer. Regular season finale against the Huntington Foresters at home in the nightcap at 7 o'clock. That's all for us here on the Globe Sports Corner. Check out our social media pages at 911 The Globe on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also check out new content posted weekly on our website at globeradio.org. This has been our Globe Sports Corner. Until next time, I'm Dante Stanley.